there are many ways to bridge to the base blockchain. Let's go over the fastest, easiest, and cheapest options available so you're not paying any unnecessary fees. Welcome back to RankFi, where I try to make helpful crypto videos. So you have four options. I'll show you all of them quickly in this video, but if you wanna pay as little gas fees as possible, I recommend using third-party bridges. So step one, the prerequisites that you need are a crypto wallet and some Ethereum. If you're watching this, I assume you already have this set up. But if not, you can go to metamask.io. That's the most popular wallet. You can get a Coinbase wallet, set it up, buy some Ethereum on Coinbase or a crypto exchange, and then transfer it to your wallet. So if you go to the official base website, base.org, they have a link in the navigation to the actual bridge. You can click on that and it'll take you to this URL here. And you're just gonna click the connect wallet in the top right corner, select MetaMask or whatever wallet that you have. And then very simply, you just enter the amount of Ethereum you want to send. You can actually pick your tokens as well, but I'm gonna send ETH. And as you can see, it's going from Ethereum to base. I'm gonna put 0.01. You would click deposit ETH. You're gonna get a notification in your wallet. And as we can see here, the gas fee is $10.53. So if I'm okay with that, I would click okay, but those gas fees are high, so I'm gonna reject this. But it's really that simple, you just connect your wallet, enter the amount you want to send, and click deposit ETH. Now remember that $10.53 fee. Now we're gonna go to a cross protocol, which is a cross chain bridge, and you're gonna click this go to bridge button here. Connect your wallet, mine is already connected. So once you get to your cross protocol, you're gonna select what network you want to send from. Now, if you have assets on any of these other networks, like Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, you're gonna pay significantly less in fees. So let's say we're doing Arbitrum, for example, and then we select base, and it says you're on the incorrect network, so we're just gonna switch my wallet network to uh, Arbitrum, switch network. There we go, now we're gonna enter the amount. So I don't have much here, but I'll show you for the example. As you can see, the Bridge fee is only 37 cents. And then when I confirm the transaction, instead of a $10.53 gas fee, it's only gonna cost 62 cents. So cool, I'm gonna confirm that. And transfer successful, just like that. That was real time. And if you find a referral link, you can get an additional 20% discount off those already low fees. And I will put my referral link down below if you wanna use that. And if you haven't heard of Across Protocol, it has over $3.5 billion in total volume, 2 million transactions, and it is growing pretty quickly. It has $88 million in total value locked at the time of this video. I've used it many times without any issues. And with any of these bridges, you can also deposit and withdraw from the base network. So if you need to withdraw funds later, you would just do the same steps in reverse. Now let's go to my iPhone and show you how to do it on the other options. Now the third option you have is to actually use the Coinbase app itself. And this will be the easiest option. If obviously you will need a Coinbase account. Once you have that set up, you're gonna look at the bottom right corner here and click that web three tab. As you can see near the top here, it says get some ETH on base. So we're just gonna click this and I need Ethereum in my account to send it to base. So let's just say I wanna buy $5 worth, click preview buy. And as you can see in the two section, it sends it to the Web3 wallet within my Coinbase account. Now this option will be more expensive just because Coinbase does have very high fees. Just remember that. And if we go back to this Web3 tab and at the very top right corner, there's this little wallet icon. If I click on that, this is the wallet that it sends to. And then you can use all of the popular dApps within the base network. Option four, you can basically do the same thing using the Coinbase wallet. So let's open my Coinbase wallet here. Again, you need Ethereum within the app, so you can buy that in Coinbase or from somewhere else. And once you have Ethereum, you can just click this bridge icon, and in the very top, it lets you select the network, so Ethereum, Polygon, Base, Arbitrum, etc., and you can send it to base here. And you just put the amount of ETH that you have, click next, and then you can just bridge funds this way. If you just want the cheapest and a fast option, I recommend using a cross protocol as you see on the screen here. And you can get a further 20% discount by using my link below. However, all of the options work. Now, if you wanna get the potential base airdrop, go watch this video on the screen to see the tasks I'm doing to hopefully qualify. And I'll see you in the next video.